Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning and welcome to today's video. It is going to be a plan with me. And so I'm gonna edit this up to make this incredibly quick, um, but I did wanna keep it in real time for the most part um, because I know you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Oops. <laughs> I just got finished filming a walkthrough of all of the new products. So if you're curious about what's new in the shop, I highly recommend you go and check that out because it will give you an idea of maybe some things that you might want to purchase now or in the near future from the shop. Y'all, I am loving, loving every time I say this, but it just grows more and more. I love this planner so much. So I did go ahead and wrap up my um, fast already. And then we're going through the scripture writing plan rather quickly. If you have not done any of the scripture writing plan, I highly recommend you do. It is such a great way to start your year. I'm actually gonna go in and duplicate or probably do a new one because we're on day 13. So this is 12 right here. But it is it has been so helpful for me because it's been holding me accountable to be productive and to not be lazy. And this is my first weekend, you guys. So I did change my work schedule up. I posted it in the Patreon as well as the Discord. I am going to post it on Instagram and stuff after I feel like I like it. And I do like it so far. I'm going to have the weekend off aside from filming and answering things in the Discord. I won't be making anything. So that way I get a break before I go into making more things because I did make a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the daily views. And I actually doubled up on a daily view, which was so funny. I was cracking up because this view served for both 11 and 12. And I completed quite a bit of things here on my to-do list. But I'm gonna pause this really quickly because I wanna put in my weekly check-in. I'm not going to fill it out on camera. I'm gonna do that in a separate time just to save time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull in my daily view that I want to use. And then we will go ahead and start going because it is the weekend. So I'm not going to use this view because this is more for when work is busy. So I'll let you guys know which view I'm gonna use in just a second. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I went ahead, I'm gonna use one of my old but favorite views. It is this one because today is an off day. So I'm not going to be doing anything extravagant so this is this and then i have my weekly check-in set in for me to go ahead and fill that out and then i can start that next week of views this is also maybe a good point to go ahead and link um your next set of views so for me obviously i'm not huge on linking i don't mind swiping because zoom notes has this little l button here where i can just do this and it's honestly a lot faster for me but because it's just a click away but if you don't have that then that would definitely help to go ahead and link that so we're going to go ahead and pull in here and i'm going to go into the dutch door uh decor situation um i think uh, i'm going to do that last actually i'm going to do that last what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into saved clips and I think I should have, yep, here she is, my saved clip that I took. So if you copy and paste things in Zoom notes a lot, I highly recommend that you use your finger, hold it down on the screen, and click on saved clips. It's going to have everything that you've copied and pasted there, so you can quickly access the things that you've copied and pasted. I love this so much because I love the edge panel on Samsung tablets and it was one of my most used things on the tablet and it's one of the things I miss the most because they don't have it on this tablet. And so Zoom Notes, once again, coming through, doing what I needed to do <laughs> because it has it. <laughs> now, I already know I'm going to use a blue Dutch door, I mean not Dutch door, but a dashboard pocket situation because I want to use the, um, I can use either the forget me not or this one. I just thought about that. I'm gonna use both, I'm gonna use both. So let's go ahead and choose our decor. So for the decor, I wanna try out this side thingy. 
So I'm gonna pop that here. We may or may not use it. I wanna try out these flower bundles. So we'll use this one and maybe this one. And I definitely wanna use the blue widgets because I have something in mind. I'm actually gonna go ahead and lock this down really quickly so that I don't accidentally move it around. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the lemon kitchen and I'm gonna pick out some things. So I wanna use this cutting board. I love the black and cream that's happening with it. It's just something about it. Um, and then I'm going to grab this espresso situation or coffee situation. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pause this so I can go ahead and grab the rest of what I wanna use. That way it doesn't consume the time of this video. Whoops. Okay, that took no time at all, but I wanted to go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, and before I forget to, I need to grab one more thing, which is actually the day of the week because it is Saturday and I don't have that sticker over here. So I'm gonna grab Saturday and I'm also gonna grab a date dot while I'm here. It is the 13th and this blue wintery sticker works fine. So I'm not even mad at it. I'm just gonna swipe that to the side. And so now we have all of our stickers here. So we can go ahead and start planning. Obviously the first thing I'm gonna do is put Saturday at the top so that I know what day it is. And I'm gonna go ahead over here and grab 13. You can zoom out, you don't have to zoom in. Um, there we go. I'm gonna put this bow over here. I already know it. So I'm gonna make room where there maybe wouldn't have been if I didn't do this in advance. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bow. I don't, oops, I stretched it. I need to stop doing that. All right, I don't want it to be like super crooked. There we go. And then I want to try this out on the side of prayer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Does it fit it a little bit there? Yes, it is, but kind of not at the same time. Um, and the good thing about Zoom Notes is I believe you can transform. Yes, yeah, so you can flip this sticker and I need to flip it. I'm gonna flip it this way. If you don't have this, Penley has a thing where you can tap and like it'll like turn the sticker uh, 90 degrees. I don't know if they kept that, but that's there. And I kind of want this to be transparent because the word prayer is there. So I'm gonna go over to crop and then I'm gonna go to opacity and I'm just gonna bring it down just a smidge. There we go. All right, so now that looks more cohesive. It's in there and it looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna grab this sticker because it is covering up the word prayer. And so I'm just gonna go in and write it myself. And then I'm gonna just select it really quickly because it is too tiny. Nobody can see that. And by nobody, I mean me. And I'm just going to pop it here. So I have prayer written in. And then for my reminder, I'm going to pop it over here. I don't know that I'm going to need it for today. Actually, I do. I need to call the leasing office. And that's why I grabbed this. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, what is this for anyways? I'm going to just write this in with my own handwriting here. Um, And it needs to be around or before 2 p.m. today because they may close early. And today's date is obviously the 13th. So I'm just gonna pop that there. And then I'm going to put some more decor down. So I'm gonna put this over here by the meals because it is a meal. I'm gonna put this by my top three. I'm gonna put this over at my grateful four. And you may not use all the decor that you end up picking out, but it is nice to have it there. I'm not gonna have that many notes, so I am gonna kind of put this over here. Hmm, let's maybe put it over here. Yeah, because I'm not gonna have that many notes. I'm not doing too much of anything today. I'm gonna put my little dish rag right here. I'll make my teapot a little bit bigger too. And then I'm gonna put my espresso over here by this verse. And then I'm gonna put the flowers over there. And then I'm going to put make a joyful noise over here by my prayer. I'm gonna put 
take it to God over by my grateful for. I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to put what I'm grateful for inside of this little sticker here. And I need it to move behind this teapot. So I'm going to go to order and I'm going to move it back. And then I don't need this one anymore. I just decided. And then with this, hmm. I just like having a transparent circle, so I'm gonna put it kind of like here-ish. And I'm gonna move it all the way to the back. And then I'm gonna turn it down. And I may copy and paste it and put it in different areas of this space once I get it down to the opacity that I want. Yes, so I'm gonna copy it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in different areas, probably over here by this prayer situation. And once again, I'm gonna move it back. And that looks good to me, I like that. And then I'm gonna save this notes thingy over here because now I'm gonna unlock this and throw it in the trash. I've already got a blank page uh, thingamajig here, so I don't need the Dutch door insert per se. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Dutch door decor and I'm going to grab this little blue house situation here. And I'm going to put it here on my Dutch door. And then I'm going to grab this notes situation and pop it right about here. Oh, that looks pretty behind there, doesn't it? But I'm using it, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it forward. Oops. There we go. All right. It looks so pretty. And so now I'm going to go in and lock all of this. Let's go ahead and lock it. And there is an unlock all button, which I absolutely love because if you've ever used one of these apps where you have to go in and unlock it individually, it's very annoying. So now I'm going to pause it and write everything in and then we'll come back. Also, I wanted to show for my people who use Zoom Notes, if you want to get the new trendy dotted and dashed lines, go to your pins, go to that first one that looks like a little box. Make sure you have all, not basic. Go to customize, go to dash, dotted, or solid. You can change the sizing. You can even change the opacity of it, which I absolutely love. And to change the sizing over here, you can just drag your pin next to the actual, oh, let me move this out of the way. Oops. You can change the sizing here by just dragging it up and down. And so it gives you a visual of what the dotted lines will look like. So that way when you go in to like do like circles or things like that, you can have the dotted and dashed lines. Just wanted to show you how you can do that. All right, y'all, and that's all she wrote. This is my view for today. I absolutely love it. It is so stinking cute and I love all of the new products. I feel like it makes planning just that much easier and fun. I had so much fun picking out stickers that I wanted to use and seeing what would play well together. And it was just awesome. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. Check out the description box below and I will chit chat with you all later. God bless you and bye-bye.